हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज संस्कार मिश्रा एंड आई एम पी एच डी स्टूडेंट इन एक्सपेरिमेंटल कंडेंस मैटर फिजिक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल ट्राई टू सो यू सम बेसिक्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट कंट्रोल यूजिंग लैब यू प्रोग्राम फॉर दिस पर्पज आई हैव माय लैपटॉप विथ लैब यू प्रोग्राम ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल इन एंड आई एम हैविंग अ केथले डी एम एम डिजिटल मल्टी एंड ऑल्सो आई हैव के टाइप थर्मोकपल विच इज़ वेरी गुड टेम्परेचर सेंसर so uh, now in this video i will try to show you how to measure continuously how to measure temperature continuously uh, using labu program so for doing this i i just am connecting this thermocouple to in, in front panel of my uh, dmm digital multimeter and also uh, this this multimeter with my laptop and uh, i'm switching on this digital multimeter okay now it is working so <clears throat> it is showing uh, temperature uh, you know uh, dc voltage of thermocouple we can i can change it to temperature so this is temperature and this is showing room temperature 21.60 uh, around so i will uh, try to measure this things with the help of computer uh, with uh, labu program so for programming part i will just just share my screen okay so uh, now uh, i'm going to show you how to write lab view codes a lab program for uh, continuously measuring temperature with kathle dm uh, in this video i will just uh, try to write codes with from scrap uh, i will not use any kind of instrument driver although there is instrument driver for kathle dm 65 uh, you know for doing this i will just open lab view uh, okay uh, for opening new project i will use shortcut key ctrl plus n okay let's come to the block diagram make it visible to a screen okay it's good it could be visible okay i'm using a screen recorder so now uh, you know uh, in order to just write program click instrument io visa and I click for you know visa open visa and uh, you know will click visa right okay uh, using visa right we can send some commands to instrument instrument will act accordingly and also we will select visa read that is message from instrument we can read now if we have open something then we must have to close it so in advance visa advance we will find close visa close okay so now we need only these things uh, we just uh, put control for visa resource name and uh, connect all the wires like you know uh, visa resource name out to this thing so this uh, type of connections errors should also be connected from one to another you know this is the process uh, for lab coding uh, in this way we can find the where error is if 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 there is error in the program then we can spot error so this must be completed and we will create an indicator just any kind of error will be sent like you know message uh, here we can put uh, make this thing bigger by and control the symbol visa resource name uh in you know visa write we will write some commands for instrument you know it will be uh control so no not control uh, you know it will be constant so write m e a s and uh, semicolon and t e m p if you if you want to write measure temperature then this will be t e m p so 
this is suggesting instrument to measure temperature okay. and when just uh, measurement from temperature can be indicated using indicator so this will be you know visa indicator uh, we can select some uh, you know byte count uh, like uh, the return from instrument how much uh, byte it contains we can write 16 16 by byte will be enough you know. uh, okay so actually uh, instrument reply in the form of some string so we will call it uh, temperature string uh, i want to make it bigger so i have to select and this thing on replacing <coughs> using shortcut this is you know temperature string uh, actually we don't uh, we, we cannot always write strings okay uh, so you know uh, uh, string may contain any uh, you know uh, exponential terms or some terms which uh, uh, which cannot be uh, you know uh, read it directly so we will put uh, here we want some more thing to just see temperature in uh, degree centigrade so I will go in quick drop menu. Quick drop menu can be accessed using uh, view section, but uh, you know uh, there is uh, here it is quick drop section. Uh, we can use shortcut key CTRL plus space and we uh, write here uh, string subset. We will search for a string subset. Here it is the center, and also uh, now we will connect this wire to string subset. Okay. Uh, I don't want to any kind of offset, so I will put it zero, and uh, you know this length could be constant, making sixty. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, actually this is a string. Uh, you know uh, this is subset a string. It, it is collection of all kind of uh, you know strings we, we string subset actually and we, we we want one element you know we want only one form of the string so we will put uh, one more thing that is you know call fractional FRACT, fractional exponential string to number we put enter uh, you know and make connection from here to here and also I, we can uh, just create indicator so uh, this number this number will show temperature in degree centigrade uh, in, it we, in which we want you know, this is called you know temperature degree okay so uh, the program part is almost complete incomplete we have just uh, connected all things and you know and the run symbol shows that it, it can work is you know, no problem so let's just see how our uh, front panel is looking uh, so this is the front panel uh, and uh, we, we, we can do one more thing uh, you know just put a graph here we found chart uh, increase its size by <coughs> drag and drop you know uh, this can be done Uh, we can rearrange things. Uh, temperature sting should be here. And, you know, my, there is problem with my mouse. It is working very slowly. So yeah, I'm using here and also uh, temperature. Uh, I can move it anywhere we want. We can rearrange these things according to our you know use and you know, our purpose. Uh, we can make these uh, boxes somewhat bigger, you know, just uh, increasing their size. <coughs> okay, so uh, now uh, we can run program for measuring temperature. So <coughs> we have uh, DMM 6500 double uh, cathode DMM digital multimeter. 
and we have a you know k type thermocouple uh, which is connected to dmm and our dmm is connected to my pc my laptop and uh, i have uh, made live program just to test uh, how i can uh, i can read data from uh, my pc so just i will run continuously this program Uh, okay, uh, this is not working because uh, we have uh, uh, done a blunder mistake. We have to select instrument um, by which measurement is to be done. So we select the resource plane, and now we can this run, run continuously. Okay, so here we can see temperature uh, around 14 uh, degrees centigrade, and uh, temperature sting can be uh, you know seen here. Uh, there is nothing on uh, you know graph, uh, nothing on graph chart. So we because uh, we have uh, you know uh, we, we we did not have connected this graph with uh, this uh, measurement. So we, what we had to do is just stop for some time and go to our black diagram and connect this guy with you know with this through this wire. Okay, that's good. Uh, now uh, it should work. So let's check it. Now we are running continuously. So, so here we can see, you know, fluctuation in temperature uh, with time. Actually, this is not time. This is, you know, data points. We can uh, <coughs> we can stop program. For, uh, you know, renaming it. It's data points. Okay, now we can run again continuously program and this will show you how uh, temperature is varying, how data points are taken and you know, um, and this is showing near about 15 degrees centigrade. What we can do is just, uh, I am putting my finger on tip of thermocouple, so just uh, we can see an uh, increase in temperature, you know it is going from 15 to 16, uh, 17. Here, temperature sting and temperature in degree can directly be seen. Uh, we, we, we can do one more thing. We, we can dip just uh, tip of thermocouple in liquid nitrogen. So, I will show you uh, increase of temperature using li liquid nitrogen. Uh, sorry, I will show you here the decrease in temperature using liquid nitrogen. Dip the tip of thermocouple in uh, liquid nitrogen, so we can see temperature is decreasing continuously. <coughs> it is reaching 14. It is now 10, 9. So it will keep on decreasing till the around you know uh, 77 Kelvin. Uh, the temperature of liquid nitrogen. So uh, this is now zero minus negative temperatures. So in this way we can you know program. We can make small programs for uh, measurement. Uh, we can use Lebrun program to control instrument. So thank you.